Hi, my name is David Eidosi and I am Autodex Certified Expert on Maya. In this video I want to show May9. May9 is a set of preferences, script and plugin for Maya 2016. After you have downloaded it from the link below, you have this document, this, sorry, this compressed file, this .zip file, and inside of it you have uh, some documents uh, and some instruction, uh, change log and license about main I. And of course the relative uh, uh, install directory for your OS, for your operating system. Under the readme, you can find uh, the contributors of this project. This is a community project I have uh, asking their license uh, all this stuff, all this incredible stuff from some amazing uh, developer inside of my community. You can find also uh, the installation instructor, some installation note, the uninstallation instructor, some quick start uh, um, commands for using uh, contextual workflow that the uh, hotkey I have had and the hotkey I have changed from default Maya and of course the preferences I have changed uh, for May 9 some notes and no, the no problem in this in this area of readme uh, how is possible? How you can install it? You need to locate your, of course, your version, your OS version, your uh, correct directory. In this case, my correct directory is under Documents folder Maya inside of Windows. As you can see, I have already a preview uh, configuration, so there is a really important backup. It is, this is really important if you want to restore the old. Uh, uh, your old preferences and for make uh, uh, May 9 work correctly. Uh, you, you don't need to, you, you can't um, upgrade or change or integrate the uh, May 9 by dragging over and so they override the files inside of your existing configuration. All right, great. Now I can drag and drop it and I'm ready to start. But before uh, before before can, you can use uh, mainline configuration, you need some uh, advice. For example, um, if you have some uh, missing UI elements, um, for example, this area, this left, this left area, or uh, the missing uh, interactive playback in this in this point of a UI, uh, probably uh, Maya using uh, an alternative uh, usersetup.mail file. What is usersetup.mail? It's a file that contain that contain your startup configuration. I will show you immediately. I need to go under the readme and uh, you need to check, uh, as you can see in this instruction, you need to check to have and point the correct uh, user setup. Okay past here this command and as you can see for me there is no problem I'm under the right the right folder the same folder is located here but if this is not if, if you don't have this kind of indication so if using another location what you need to do for have a full interface is close in Maya and uh, copy inside of your US uh, 2016 uh, uh, scripts user setup and copy all this stuff all this of, of these codes inside of your uh, user setup and after the the actual code you can find by using the mail command that lets you uh, scores you lets you find where user setup is located very good anyway what's change uh, from standard Maya. I have removed the drop down menu. This can be replaceable by using, of course, the alt key, press space, and hold. I am removed the toolbox. This is, uh, I think, so not useful because you can, of course, using your star standard uh, hotkey. So I can use the Q, the W, the A, the R, the T and so on so far so you have full control of element of all elements inside of of the toolbox if you want a laser tool control l and you have your laser tool very simple very fast uh, for, for uh, i ever removed the also the um, the shelf that's because the contextual overflow i have implemented in, in may 9 i think so replace it so i want to show you now how everything is working um, before that, I want to show you a 
some other little scripts, for example, in this case, I have a way to find uh, some command only by using name. Uh, for example, I need to unwrap, un unwrap. All right, so there's not here. No, I want a cube. And so you can see I have two kind of uh, primitives, the, the, the new obscure, the polygon cube, the uh, volume cube, volumetric cube. If I leave the mouse, it can give me the current the current position of uh, inside of the inside of course my my drop down menu. So this is a very incredible way to check search uh, commands inside of my. Uh, another addition I have had is the ability to use. Uh, uh, a contextual workflow, so contextual working menu, and uh, from this version, the the 1.5.10, I've changed some some uh, I've changed some uh, mouse configuration, some mouse button configuration. I want to show you immediately. Immediately, if I press Z, I can have access to my contextual uh, workflow. I can and now I continue to press Z, so I am press and you know, hold the Z button on my keyboard. And now with the left mouse button, I have contextual marking menu. In this case, the viewport marking menu. So I can change. I can go in top view, in front view, in perspective view, and so on and so far, of course. And I can also using my middle mouse button to have access to the whole marking menu. From here, I have a sort of um, universal marking menu, to, for example, for create object or something like that. Right, great. And from using my standard Z and the right mouse button, you have standard my marking menu. From here, you can complete the tool, select all, create a new sheen, open a new sheen, and so on, open a sheen, and so on, so far. So I think so, it's very, very easy. I want to show you, but in this time, by uh, using some objects, for example. I want to create, uh, uh, press Z, the middle mouse button, I want to create a cube, Poly cube. I want to duplicate Ctrl D, of course. Now I can select very fast from my uh, from my outliner. I want to intersect these two elements. And now, if I, for example, select, selecting one object, Z, and the left mouse button, I have my marking menu from one poly object selected, but if I select two objects, I have Z and the left mouse button, I have my multiple selection. In this case, the multi-same selection to have a command based on multi-selection. Very, very useful. For example, here I can fast create a Boolean in a different mode. Very, very fast, very easy. All right. Another uh, possibility you have is create a multi-selection of different objects too. So, for example, if I create, a, sorry, if I create a joint, press my press and hold my X to drag on the grid and create uh, the center mouse button, middle mouse button, create my plane. So, very fast, very simple. Add some division. All right, great. And now I can select my elements, my polygon objects. Shift select my my joint chain. And now I can use Z and the left mouse button to have access to this marking menu. For example, for bind skin. Of course, there is another great opportunity inside of main nine by using this workflow and this um, using a, a contextual out key. What's the difference between a contextual marking menu and a contextual out key? The marking menu gives you, uh, give you uh, a multiple choice and the contextual out key only one, one choice at a time. For example, if I select a joint and select a, the, an, another time my plane, I have undo the, the operation by the control Z. So, of course, a Z is now for you know, contextual workflow, but you can use Ctrl Z to undo, of course. And if I now select my my join chain and my my plane, my polygon plane, by press Z and release, it uses the most common functionality from this kind of selection. So now I have bind my skin by using the contextual out key. Very fast and useful too. Very good. Another things that you can do with uh, this contextual workflow is uh, using the, um, uh, the the panel, using uh, uh, 
uh, Mercury menu based on pen. For example, if I press Z and the left mouse button, I have now the ability to duplicate an element, select, edit, and so on and so forth. So, for example, if I'm here, I'm selecting my poly object, press Z and the left mouse button, I have, of course, a <coughs> polygonal, uh, polygonal Mercury menu. But if I am here and press Z and the left mouse button, I have now my Mercury menu for Outliner 2. So, very easy, very fast way to interact with elements based on selection, panels, and of course, as you can see before, my hotkey. Well, I hope you find this useful. Uh, under the May 9 YouTube channel, you can find some more information, some more resources. So, I hope you enjoy and bye.